based upon the images that you have seen, do you believe that the climate, that a climate has been created that first and foremost will disadvantage young black men and women and an atmosphere that, or that same atmosphere can lead to the slaughter of black men, women, and children without an uproar coming from society as a whole. Remember the riots or the insurrection that took place after the murder of Mark Duggan. The amount of young black teenagers now who are in prison as a result of that insurrection that insurrection gave the police all the, the opportunity they needed to go throughout the black community and kick off whoever's door they wanted to kick off, but they didn't have a premise to do it. This, that, is take, that has taken place. Has it given the powers that be the, 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 the excuse that they have been looking for to justify black boys losing their life without any uproar now coming? from the greater populace of this country and throughout the world? That's the question. Do you believe that atmosphere has been created because of those images? Yes, sir. My brother, and please stay with the question. And brother Minka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum um, salam. Um, I'm, 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 I'm a youth worker and for me, I, I look at these things, and it 100% did, because, you know, us as Muslims, initially, my thought was, subhanAllah, because I, I went on a prison visit, and I was in Woolwich an hour before this happened. And the first thing I thought was, subhanAllah, may Allah not make it be Somalians. Because, this is, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is me being honest, because I already understood the backlash it would have been for the community involved in that. Alhamdulillah, at the time I was saying, Alhamdulillah, it's not Somalians. But it, was, it, it brought, a, brought a, a greater problem. Because initially, for, for, for the people who have no understanding of Islam and Muslims, terrorism was associated with Muslims. And the easiest identifiable Muslims was Asians. This incident made everyone insensitive to Muslims and black people. If you're black and you had a beard, you, you was a terrorist. This is kind of linking into the last question. They use the word terrorism in the media. Reckless? Or is that something that was done on purpose? Because the Deputy Commissioner come out and said it's an act of terrorism. Yet they was charged with only conspiracy That's to right. murder and murder. Right. But when you said terrorism, and you put a black face, <laughs> even a Ghanaian now, you say to him, mm -hmm. are you Nigerian? Are they Muslim Niger? No, I'm Ghanaian. Mm. You say to a Muslim, oh, look at the Muslim youth. It's not because he was Muslim, it's because he was Nigerian. Nigerian youth. It's not because he's Nigerian, it's because he's Boko Haram. Mm. You know, and it created the insensitivity. Forget about with, with, with the non blacks. It created within the black community, where everyone is trying to wipe their hands clean. No, no. It's them Woolwich boys. He's not from South London, he's from Rumford. <laughs> you know? I, and what it creates is the division. And it creates more division than we even knew. You got division from South London and East London. You got division from Nigeria and Ghana. You got division from Caribbeans and Africa. They say, look at them mad African Muslims. But the, the thing is, it's all, all connected because we're all terrorists now. 